Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be doing my review for Episode 19, aka the season finale for Season 6. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So this was the finale, it was Episode 19, rather than Episode 22 as originally planned. So you can tell when you watch this episode that this wasn't meant to be the finale, this was just supposed to be an episode where you had the end of Black Hole and, you know, the death of Carver, but you also had the continuation of the Eva storyline and making her the main villain. But things turned out this way and 19 was made into the finale. They didn't change it to make it a finale, I guess maybe they edited some stuff around it to make it you know, a bit more cliffhangery and, you know, leave some more stuff to actually think about as we head towards the break over the summer. But I would say it's pretty much the same as they planned because when they shot 19, they didn't know that this was going to be the finale. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So, at the start of the episode, we get to see Eva. She gets a new suit, and apparently this suit is necessary when she is outside of the Mirrorverse because something to do with her chamber. I think that chamber helps her in some way, and the suit helps her in some way. So, this is obviously an excuse to give her a sort of super villain suit for this episode, and, you know, they plan to give her more episodes to shine in this. So, I'm guessing we're going to see Eva next season, and we'll get to that later. So we'll probably see the suit again, so it probably wasn't just for this one episode. And so anyway, at the start, they're all going to miss Killer Frost. This is right at the beginning where she's still contemplating what to do. She's very scared of her mum. Her mum shows up. We haven't seen her in a while, and it was kind of nice to see her. And then at the same time, we have the team. They go over to Black Hole's warehouse. They figure this out via the use of Sue's um, diamond that she had, which has a Black Hole logo on it. And so at this point, it gets blown up by Singh, well, the mirror version of Singh, not Chief Singh. And so you have Barry and Rao, and they find all these files on all the people that Carver's got stuff on. So like you can see Dearborn and you see a few other names, I guess. Some of them are probably Easter eggs, which then after the explosion, we go to this cafe. I presume it was Jitters, although it kind of looked a bit more fancy. I don't know, really. But, you know, we have... Carver there and we have his worker, I don't know, a guy that works in Black Hole as well. And so this guy is still around by the end of the episode so I presume Black Hole will continue on to next season and that will lead to one of my theory videos that I'm going to be putting out in the next few days because I got a theory about a new villain who might come after Eva is defeated. And so it's at this point this guy leaves and then Barry comes in, he talks to Carver and Barry sees that Iris gets abducted in this video that Carver shows him, so he's known for weeks that Iris was abducted and taken by Eva into the Mirrorverse. And at this point, Carver warns Barry that once people are in there, they're never the same, and the place warps their mind. So it's also at this point that Sue shows back up, and she's with Ralph. I just gotta mention, I really do like them together, and they're very funny, and I think they were possibly one of the best bits of the episode. Anyway, so Eva then takes over all the villains of the week who are working with Carver so that's you know the people we've seen in the past I don't actually remember all their names Sunshine, Ultraviolet and I forgot the other person's name but I'm not the biggest fan of them and I don't think they were very good this episode and I don't think they were very good before like they just keep on popping up but they don't really do anything they don't pose much of a threat and so it seems to be like the show's just reusing them over and over and over again and I'm a bit tired of it by now, and I know a lot of you guys are as well. They're just villains of the week. I don't see why they needed to be brought into such a potentially big battle, but the battle didn't end up being that big or that good, really, towards the end of the episode. And also at this point, I and many other people noticed that Eva's powers don't just work through mirrors, but they work through reflective surfaces. And so this was a point of contention when I was talking to... Pagey and Eric on the live stream last night. Go check that out. That's on Eric's channel right now. And we were talking about this. Me and Eric agreed that it should be just through mirrors, like it would be cooler. But, you know, Pagey was on the other side because in the comics, Mirror Master can go through reflective surfaces. So, what do you guys think about that? Do you think it's cooler if it would just be through mirrors, or do you think it's, you know, better this way? So, let me know. Okay, so let's move on. So Carver ends up getting Barry's help and the team's help because, you know, Eva's after him. Eva's about to kill him. 
which she eventually does, which we'll get to later. But anyway, so we have Frost and her mum throughout the episode. Just a few scenes like that, you know, nothing too special. But also Nash detects something is wrong with Barry's choices. We get another appearance of Wells showing up in his head. Wells from season one is what the suggestion is and what the hint is. So that was cool to see him again. And basically Nash, I think, was one of the best characters in this episode. As he really did kind of pull his weight compared to a lot of the other members in the team. And he definitely helped out Barry. Okay, so Barry ends up helping out Carver, like I said. And he goes to Carver's place which is at McCulloch Tech and he has a secret bunker he thinks you know no one can get in like Eva's not going to be able to get in through any of these mirrors because he has put like these nanites over it or something like that and so that is to do with Palmer Tech we haven't had mention of Palmer Tech in a long time nanites courtesy of Ray Palmer as per usual and you know that was kind of a funny little nod towards that you know we haven't heard that in a while so it was funny and however that doesn't actually protect him in the end because Eva does get in and so it's at this point that Sing shows up and Eva literally splits out of him and that was pretty cool she has this arm cannon I don't know how that worked but I guess it's something to do with her new suit and her mirror powers obviously but she shoots Barry with the shards of a mirror and Barry is hit by like a whole bunch of them and he's really injured and she sends one of those shards right through his whole body and I thought that moment was really good. It was very impactful. It was more gory than normal and I really liked that they went for it and it was an actual cool way to kill off Carver because you thought, oh, he's safe, Barry saved him, but no, the shard just goes right through his body into Carver and Carver gets killed. So that's obviously kind of a big moment. He gets killed. He wasn't in that much of the season, so it's not super impactful, but it's a good way for him to go out. And so what happens after this is we get this press conference. Eva is out there and the whole world knows she's back. Carver's dead though. So, you know, she makes up this whole new fabricated story about him dying, him getting murdered as soon as he saved her. And then at the end of the episode, we get this kind of really strange moment out of nowhere where Sue is framed for his death when, I don't know, does even know about Sue at all? Like, she didn't even fight her this episode. So that was a bit strange, unless she knows about what's happening with Black Hole and her relationship with Carver. So I think that was a bit out of nowhere, and it shocked me, and I was like, okay, sure. I think this was more for a story reason, to keep Sue around, to give her some more stuff to do, because, you know, they figured out the Black Hole stuff, to do it with her already so it's going to keep her around for the next season but it was kind of out of nowhere that Eva would frame Sue when Eva has no idea who Sue is because Eva has been away for six years in the Mirrorverse and she would have not known about Sue at all and she didn't even see her in this episode. Okay so let's move on we go to just after this and Barry is still losing his speed he's in Star Labs so there were many things this season that weren't wrapped up that includes what I just said including Barry with his speed the artificial speed force wasn't created so this is a thing that's going to continue on to next season and I think they would have done that in the next three episodes that they have planned also Cisco never came back after that cliffhanger last episode when he said he was going to Atlantis to get this component to defeat Eva, he never showed up in the finale, so, you know, that was definitely, he was going to come back next episode, so 20 probably, and bring back whatever that component was to defeat Eva, so we're going to see Cisco next season, that's probably going to be wrapped up with how they finish off Eva's story, because I reckon they're going to change it a bit, because they did shoot one episode, but apparently that episode won't really work for next season as well like right at the start so I don't know they might just scrap that and include that in deleted scenes when they release this season however they're going to wrap up Eva's story one way or another so Eva is going to be sticking around next season at least for a little bit I hope they kind of figure out and finish that story pretty soon because that was something that was supposed to be done by the end of this season because I do kind of want to get into whatever's coming next and this could be to do with Black Hole, and I have a few theories regarding that. Also, Godspeed links to Black Hole in the comics. I guess you could continue with this Black Hole stuff, because they still exist. But Carver is dead. I don't even know if Carver's the head guy of Black Hole, but, you know, that's what we presumed. So there is still possibility for Black Hole to continue next season. I don't know if they will stick around the whole season, or if they'll be there at all. 
but we'll have to wait and see. And so right before the end of the episode, we got to see Joe. Joe returned. And so Barry says, the team needs you now more than ever. Let's go save some people we love, is what Joe says. And obviously this was a teaser for next episode and what would have happened. But we have to wait till next season. So kind of his return was for nothing. Although obviously he's going to be in episode 1 next season. But nevertheless, it was a good moment seeing Joe return because I love Joe. And so the final scene the cliffhanger was pretty good. I thought they did a decent job with ending the episode and this was that Iris has full control. The mirror verse is what Camilla said because she's able to see through, you know, the headaches and everything and she can see the screen square and she knows exactly where Sing is in the mirror verse. So I guess it was a little bit weird that they ended the season with them still looking for Sing because that would have been something that was resolved really quickly in the next episode. However, what they did end on was Iris vanishing out of nowhere and that is the big reason for why I think this cliffhanger was kind of cool because she vanished we don't know what's gonna happen I think there are many possible theories that we could go over you know number one could be sunshine where did she go she kind of disappeared at one point kind of looked very similar to when she disappeared however it looked similar to when Barry had you know the fake mirror particles all over him so I guess it could be number one she died but it's probably not that likely that she died but you know Camilla maybe is thinking that at that point however one other reason would be she teleported to say where Sing is maybe that was her powers because she has controlled the mirror verse she's able to do and go as she pleases wherever she wants or number three that she just vanished and she just poofed into nowhere but anyway let me know your theories in the comments down below what happened to Iris in the ending of the season so thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you for watching all the reviews over the whole season so next season should begin at the normal time I will be continuing to making flash videos and Supergirl and all the DC TV shows over the summer even when the shows aren't on so please be sure to stick around remember to subscribe if you're new and put on notifications so you don't miss any videos and I'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.